Hello, this is Rebecca here with Create with Rebecca, and it's been a really long time since I've put together a video, but I wanted to bring you today the unboxing of my March stationery planner kit. And so, in this box, um, it's basically the theme is bloom, which is March, so I look at it kind of like a, uh, you know, we're starting to get out of winter, and things here in Central Texas have been blooming forever because the weather here has just been really crazy. I really am not looking forward to the summer months because if it's as warm as it is now, it, I can only imagine when it's July and August, September and September, it's just going to be so warm. So, but it's beautiful right now. Everything's in bloom. It hasn't been that cold of a winter, but, um, so that's kind of where my theme of this particular kit came together. Um, I did want to show you the original artwork um, that kind of that I pulled um, this uh, girl off of the canvas, but this was the original canvas um, that has inspired the um, kit this month. So that is her. And then um, I really kind of tossed up making it more of a green themed, but um, I kind of just kind of go with my gut feeling and this is what came together. So let's go ahead and start with the um, Traveler's Notebook. This is a standard size. It's This uh, particular paper is from Echo Park Paper Company. And again, the pages are blank inside. Um, this is like a 28 pound real smooth um, insert paper. So that will be part of the kit. Um, I also like to include a postcard of the original print of the of the um, canvas. Also, um, I also have paper paper um, product from Echo Park Paper Company, and this is journaling cards. And there are all different sizes. These are your standard four by th four, three by four. The um, enjoy today, a blank. Um, red and white stripe and on the back side it's also red and white stripe. I've already used this. I love this because I kind of wrote on here. Um, I've been doing some little, um, I don't know, creative journaling. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been posting there and also on my Facebook page. But I've just been kind of doing little quotes at the end of the day. Just kind of a way to create something every day. And so I used this the other day and I really liked it. Um, enjoy the little things. This is an empty circle beautiful day and then you have the larger um, journaling cards as well so those are part of the kit and then the stickers are pull this out here this is the little girl here the bloom and then of course her as smaller and let me measure these for you just so you kind of get an idea how I use her in my personal planner or in also my bando, I, or you could use it in your happy planner. But she's about five inches tall. And then the smaller ones are about an inch and a half tall. So these could be used in like a personal planner, but I, um, I use her. You can also make a bookmark out of her. So there's lots of um, opportunities to use these in different kind of planners and stationary items. Now this um, particular um design these are all watercolor flowers that i created using watercolor and then we just put them together um, on different sizes and i'll kind of show them up close here and they're just different um, sizes and i've been using them quite a bit just to testing them out and um so yeah those are really fun and i was excited to really get to paint something and and have it transformed into a sticker and then these are your monthly dates so which is kind of a it matches her dress I love how they really go together so those are the sticker sets in the kit there's also going to be a washi and this is also by Echo Park Paper Company and this is really pretty washi I wish I had um, I've been using I think I've almost used up of course I always give myself a kit but um I think I've almost used up a whole thing of this tape already. It is so cute and it goes on. Um, and it just, I don't know, it just adds the right color amount. There's not a, it, you know, it's really small and dainty little 
red flowers um, and there's 15 feet of this washi tape. Also um, are these little, they're kind of like bobby pin clips, but in the um, kit itself you you will receive one, but they may have different colors. So most of them are going to be roses. Um, they are they come in different. You can get pink, green, purple, red. Um, there's a whole variety of different colors. Or there's also um, a few little different um, style that are not roses. But these are great. I love putting these at the top of my planner pages or, you know, in the front of, you know, to mark your book or to um, decorate the front pages as well or the little area in the front. So those, you'll have one of those in there. And then also um, I pulled out these little charms, but they're all, you get one charm in your, um, in the kit, but they all have different sentiments. So what I mean by that is they will all have a cute little flower. You can see that there, but then they're going to have a different saying. So this one in particular says grace. And then this one, let me show you real quick. This one says beautiful. So they're all similar, but they're different. So, um, you, you, and this one says forever. There's one that says dreamer. So they they have a, you have a variety of different, different charms that will go on there, but they all have that cute little, um, flower on there. Then, um, I couldn't have a March kit without something in their St. Patrick's Day. So I've got this really cute little, um, clover pin and it actually, you could use it, I mean, year round. I mean, clovers don't have to be particularly in March, do they? So that's that. And then die cuts. Let me show you what we have here. Now, and I hate to just constantly say, oh, I use this, I use this, but I have used these a lot too, because I like to test out products. If I would use them, I want to make sure that, you know, if you purchase these, somebody else will use them as well. So I, I like to play around with them and make sure that they are at least that what I can use them for too. Of course, I always like to add a little bit of sequins in my kits, but these take, these are taking the watercolors, this, not these particular words, but they took all the little, we took the watercolor um, that we created the stickers with and we also created die cuts. So you will have your little um, flowers. And I believe there's gonna be 20 total between the blooms and the different flowers. You're gonna have a 20 total die cuts. And then also, this is like one of my favorites. Isn't that cute? I thought that was just so pretty. Um, and then also part of this little die cut kit are little flowers with gems. And those will come in a variety of color and sizes and some will be sparkly and some will be um, just not sparkly. <laughs> so, oops, this is getting stuck to my pad here. And then let me see if I can pull these out. I also like this one. This one's really pretty too. I love that. And then again, these are different sizes. And... I have been using those in my journaling and I've also um, started using in my traveler's notebook which um, stay tuned because I'm going to have some videos this week so I'll show you how I've been using kind of the kit as well. So that's your wide variety of ephedera that's located in the kit. And then so that's it. That's what that is what the kit consists of. And um, I also like to create little add-ons so let me show you real quick. Let me get these off this real quick. I don't want to lose any sequins out. Um, put it back in here. But I also like to make a, a tassel that coordinates. And this is the cute tassel that comes with this kit. I thought it was perfect. It um, And this, is, it, this can be an add-on that you can purchase to come with the kit. So there you have it. There is your March Bloom Kit, and if you're interested, I'm going to leave the link below to take you to the website to, to buy one, and I will ship it out to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.